This is Gacy Charm P. Vigente together with my partner Charles Jihal P. Vigente presenting the attaching and detaching of a pneumograph. First is the two convoluted rubber tubes called pneumographs. The first is placed over examinee's chest to measure the heart rate of the subject throughout the interview. The second is placed in the examinee's abdomen to record breathing and other respiratory activities. Next is a standard blood pressure cuff applied to examine his upper arm for the purpose of recording cardiovascular activity just before the examination. The blood pressure cuff will be inflated to a pressure of 80 mmHg. It is just like the typical blood pressure cuff used in hospitals. It is connected to a monitor that records blood pressure activity. Last is the two metal plates called galvanometers, attached to the fingers of the examinee's hand to record sweat gland activity. During the examination, galvanometers produce small amount of electric current when the examinee's hand sweat. After attaching all the instrument, so as you can see, I'm setting the blood pressure cuff to 80 mmHg, which is the standard pressure to measure blood pressure activity. So, as you can see, I am starting the last process of attaching the polygraphic examination. So, it is the polygraphic monitor. It is also called the stress monitor. Its part includes pneumographic module 2, pneumographic module 1, cardiographic module, and a GSR module. So, in detaching the polygraphic instrument, the last you attach is what you detach first. So I am starting with the galvanometers. Next is the blood pressure cuff. After detaching the blood pressure cuff, you should deflate it to its normal pressure. The last to attach is the two rubber tube since it was the first you attach in the body of the examinees.